हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द बुलियन लॉजिक सो सी बी एस सी सिलेबस ऑफ क्लास एलेवेंथ कंप्यूटर साइंस नाउ इन बुलियन लॉजिक वी विल लर्न नॉर्थ गेट एंड गेट और गेट नैंड गेट नॉर गेट एक्स और गेट ट्रुथ टेबल्स डी मॉर्गन्स लॉ एंड ऑल द लॉजिक सर्किट्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द Boolean algebra. Now, father of Boolean algebra, George Boole, he came up with the type of linguistic algebra. The three most basic operations of which were, and still are, and or and not. It was these three functions that formed the basis of his premise and were the only operations necessary to perform comparisons or basic mathematical functions. Boole's system was based on a binary approach, processing only two objects: the yes/no, true/false, on/off, zero/one approach. So we will see one by one how it is done. Now, in this, only true represents one and false represents zero, or on represents one and off represents zero. So we can represent on by one or true or high. and off by zero or false or low so here you can see how the operation will be represented and will be represented by a dot here so if two inputs are there x and y we will write here x dot y or will be represented with a plus sign and not with a bar or you can write not in front of it like here not f not of x is written so all the operations one by one we will start with so here you can see now let us see the first not gate it is an inverter so it will invert the input you can see here if the input is on it will give the output as off or zero and if the input is zero it will give the output as one so the symbol of a not gate is like this this is a inverter only the triangle is a buffer and if you put a bubble in front it becomes a not gate so this is your inverter truth table we will do all the truth tables together we will do it so how the truth table will look like i will show you the truth tables also see not gate input output if the input is x output is x bar so if the input is 0 output is 1 and if the input is 1 output is 0 this is your not gate now the next one is your and gate so in and gate you have if both the inputs are high then only the output is high if any one of the input or all the inputs are zero then the output will be zero so if all the inputs if it is a two input then two should be high if it is a three input then three input should be high so and means when all the inputs are high then the output will be high so here with two input it is shown here x and y so it will be x dot y will be the output you can see when all the inputs are high then only the output is high next is our or gate so how the or gate is represented or gate you can see here and gate how it was represented and next after the truth table next is your or gate so or gate is represented by this symbol in or gate if any one of the input becomes high suppose if it is a two input then if one is high or two is high if any number of inputs are there and Uh, if it is all the inputs are zero then only the output will be zero if any one is high two is high three is high then the output will become high so how you will show in the truth table so if any one you can see here when any one of the input is high then the output becomes high so this is your truth table of and gate with two inputs of or gate with two inputs and of not gate obviously not is a inverter now we will see the symbols symbols already you know and gate looks like this or gate you have to draw the symbol like this inverters and buffer will remain same now the algebraic function will be in and gate the two inputs so f will be equal to x dot y in or gate it will be x plus y in inverter it will be inverted so x bar 
or you can write not of x we will use x bar only either x dash or x bar we will put a bar above it and the buffer directly we will put now the next gates we are going to do now this is a not and not and means a inverter in front of and so this is a nand gate now nand gate means inverted and so you can see here x dot y whole bar now the output also you can see of nand gate like and gate what was the output in and gate you were having when any one input is zero the output is becoming zero so all the input should be high for the output to be high this was and gate just the inverted form of this output is your NAND gate. So you can see here this NAND gate. When all the inputs are high, then output will be 0. So this is your NOT AND NAND gate. Next is your NOR gate. That is an inverter in front of a OR gate. NOT OR. So same thing. It will be symbolically we will write here X plus Y whole bar. And here it is just the inverted form of OR gate. That is when all the inputs are 0, then the output will be 1. And when, when any one of the input becomes 1, then the output will become 0. Now next is your exclusive OR gate. This is the symbol. This is the expression here. Now exclusive OR gate means when any one input is high, output is high. Odd number of inputs are high, then the output is high. So odd number means when 1 is high, if suppose 3 inputs are there x, y, z, then all 3 are high. So when odd number of inputs are high, then the output will be high. This is your exclusive OR gate. And the last one is exclusive NOR gate. This is just the reverse of exclusive OR. That is when even number of inputs are high. High or when all are 0 also. You can see here when all are 0 then also the output will be high and when even number of inputs are high. That means when odd number of inputs are high then the output is 0. So if one input is high or three inputs or five inputs are high then the output will be 0. So these are your logic gates. Now you can uh, the combination of all in a circuit logic circuit will be asked now the next is your laws all the basic laws properties of boolean algebra so here you can see all the laws here property of zero zero means when any one input becomes zero then these are x plus 0 means it is OR gate. So in OR gate you have already seen when any one input is 0 then it depends on the next value. So x plus 0 is x whereas in AND gate if any one input becomes 0 then the output will become 0. So x dot 0 is 0. Same way property of 1. 1 will if it is input is 1 any one is 1 in OR gate then output will be 1. But in AND gate, it will depend on the next value. Next value, if it is 1, then the output will be 1. If the next value, so x dot 1 equals to x. It important law is x plus x equals to x and x dot x equals to x. That means both the inputs are same. So the output will depend on the input. If it is 0, 0, then output will be 0. If it is 1, 1, then the output will be 1. Next, complementary law, here just the reverse that is 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0 in OR you will have 1 and in AND you will have 0. Next, commutative law, x plus y equals to y plus x and x dot y equals to y dot x. Next, associative law, x plus y plus z equals to y plus z, first you will calculate then z. Same way here with AND operator x dot in bracket y dot z. Here x dot y then outside bracket dot z. Distributive law x dot y plus z equals to x dot y plus x dot z. And the second law is. So we are having two laws here for each. You can see here. So whenever any law will be asked you will write here both the statements. The first one as well as the second one 
सो इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ यू आर हैविंग एक्स प्लस वाई डॉट जेड इक्वल्स टू एक्स प्लस वाई डॉट एक्स प्लस जेड एब्जॉर्बन लॉ एक्स प्लस वाई एक्स y equals to x. Now here you can see when you will take out x, then one plus y will remain. Now in the property of one, you have seen that one plus y is equals to one. So like this, you will get x. Same here, x dot x plus y is also equals to x. Now this is a new thing which you will learn, and the derivation also I will show you. Now only using truth table we will calculate. So De Morgan's law. What is De Morgan's law? the inverted of a or operation can be equal to you can see the input is inverted and this is a and operation so x plus y bar equals to x bar dot y bar and just the opposite that is x dot y whole bar equals to x bar plus y bar now this de morgan's law the derivation as well as using truth table how to prove it that i will show you last is involution law that is the double inverse or double inverted form will be equals to the value itself like if you are taking zero once you will invert it it will give you one again you will invert it it will give you zero so these are your laws now the other things you are having all the laws you can see the definitions and the proof of each and every law so using truth table also you can check it out you can prove it using truth table and so these are the same laws which are given there now here you can see so all the laws directly you can see like de morgan's law a plus b whole bar equals to a bar dot b bar and the second law is a dot b whole bar equals to a bar plus b bar now here we can simply replace like suppose in the question paper normally they ask you to um, design any circuit using nand gate or nor gate now any gate using this formula you can replace using nand gate and nor gate so the truth table of these i will show you the truth table of de morgan's law you can see here the truth table a and b two inputs you have taken so a plus b will be equals to this is or gate and when inverted it will become 1 0 and just and gate that is the this is your lhs left hand side a plus b bar, whole bar and now the rhs right hand side you were having a bar dot b bar so here a bar and b bar you have calculated and a bar dot b bar equals to it gives you 1 and 0 0 so you can see here LHS is equal to RHS. Output one is equal to output two. So, like this, using truth table, we will prove it each and every law. And so, the other law also you can prove it like this. And you can see here the bubble inverter. You can replace with the bubble also. So, bubble means it will become a NAND gate. And you can see here this is a OR gate with its inputs inverted so like this i will share these all pptes and pdf in the description go through the portion so this is your unit 1 chapter 2 that is all the gates and electronic circuits you all are learning so in electronic circuits it, it understands only the binary language the language of on and off zero and one and any type of circuit you can design using these gates so in detail we will do in our next video so i think only the basic things that is you will go through the this and the this uh, will come in your exam that is your graphical symbol of the gates the algebraic expression and the truth table and then the de morgan's law so thank you have a nice day